Hey, indeed, Martin. Thank you so much. Joe Green here in Studio B with, uh, well, let's get things out of the way first. want to thank our crew today who's working, providing you video, um, our director. And these are students here in the BPT program at Isothermal Community College. Our director today, Jason Paredes, our camera operators, Amanda Waller and Wesley Elam. Thank you. And, of course, the boss man here in Studio B, Sean Rubin at the controls today. And we are... Uh, in Studio B sessions, thanks to Sierra Nevada Brewing Company. They provide uh, support for that. And I'm uh, proud and happy to welcome a couple of world-class songwriters, singers, pickers, you name it. They uh, they can do it. Tim Stafford is here, and Tom Utes is here. Welcome, gentlemen. Thanks, Thank Joe. Thank Good to be here. Us. Y'all have a show up here in the mountains tonight, and we'll talk about that later on. But certainly glad y'all could carve out time and, and be with us here in Studio B today. Let's, uh, let's start with a song from your new album. All right, this is one called The Blue Grays. One, two, one, two, three. Just a bunch of guys from Elizabeth and Tennessee. Too far back in the sticks for the Negro leaves. But from 35 to 55, the hottest team around. Couldn't find a better show when the Blue Grays came to town. Played the Kansas City Monarchs and the Philadelphia Stars. The Asheville Blues, the Nashville Cubs, all comers near and far. I cracked the bat, climbed the mound, another perfect throw. They took on never rival. But they also fought Jim Crow Barnstorming baseball All across the South And the years of segregation Until the final out Travel wasn't easy And mostly done at night they didn't know a different way, but they knew it wasn't right. They often stayed in churches in the colored neighborhood. The white teams wouldn't play them, cause the Blue Grays were too good. Barnstorm and baseball all across the South, and the years of segregation. Hotel the final lounge Chick Forney, Big Red And all the other guys The best that ever swung the bat Along the color line when Jackie finally broke it On the field of dreams he was standing on the shoulders of a very small town team. Barnstorming baseball all across the South in the years of segregation until the final out. I said barnstorming baseball all across the South in the years of segregation until the final out. Tim Stafford and Tom Utes live in Studio B here on WNCW, a tune from the new album Lost Voices, The Blue Grays. You know, this whole album is kind of... Uh, uh, storytelling of American history and uh, different aspects of life uh, from, well, we're not just here in the Appalachian Mountains, but really across the country, right? Right. Uh, I mean, Appalachia is sort of a focus for Tom and I because uh, we're both very much interested in that. And I mean, this song really kind of shows there was a lot of diversity in Appalachia that we don't talk about as much, you know. I mean, Outside, we know what people think about Appalachia, but, uh, you know, we tend to believe those myths ourselves a lot of times. But uh, this team was uh, literally what we say in there, a barnstorming baseball team that 
that was very good and had a great reputation. We had, I had seen a uh, local news article about it over in East Tennessee, and uh, I didn't know at the time that J.C. Alex, uh, J.C. Augustus and the Cedar Grove Foundation had done a lot of research and uncovered this team. It was sort of lost to, to history, you know. And, uh, man, what a rich, rich idea, rich, rich past. And, uh, you know, just something that we felt needed to be celebrated. Got to admit, it was a history lesson for me today because, you know, I didn't, uh, didn't, that's something I didn't know about. And you, you're a Kingsport native, aren't you? I am. And Elizabethton is uh, just right up there with Johnson City and Kingsport. Right, about 30, 40 minutes away, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it's nice, uh, especially to write about things from your home community. Yeah, we, we have several things on the record from that part of the world. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah. 14 songs on this Lost Voices album, and you, you two wrote all of them, right? Yeah, we wrote all of them. We started, uh, Tim and I had been writing together since 2017, but in a post-COVID world, we, all, we only wrote when Tim came to uh, Nashville, where I live, and uh, then come COVID, we all had to learn to communicate on Zoom, and yeah. Tim and I happened to not find it too problematic to write on Zoom, and so we wrote, I guess, about 90 songs during the pandemic, and then some after after that, and we still write almost every week. So we had this big catalog and just went like, well, we might as well make a record, you know, because we like making records. Yeah. And, uh, so it's, um, yeah. Well, we all know what great writers each of you are individually, but collaborating, man, it's uh, you, you find that groove clearly um, where you guys are complementary writers together. I, I think we really do because we, we're, as Tim said, we're both very interested in history. We, we're both, uh, we both read very widely. And uh, so... Our writing sessions are very expensive because we keep recommending books to each other. So after every writing session, we get on Amazon and order more That's books. Good, yeah. So we really don't know how much longer we can do it. You know, it's we too, need a grant. Right. Yeah. That's right. That's well, right. then, you know, you'll need more library space at home, too. So, you know, there's yeah. that. So but even more. You should have some grant writers here that we could talk to about this right here at this university. Well, well you know, Brenda's here, and she she may have some connections for you there. So. There you go. There you go. Uh, um, I wanted to mention, because you guys are such great collaborators together as writers, too, And but I was thinking, too, of, uh, Tim, your collaboration with the, with the late Steve Gully. Uh, you guys put a good album out together, too. Yeah, we actually did a couple albums over the years. Yeah. I, I really like the collaboration thing, you know, because somebody else will bring something to the song that you didn't think of at yeah. all, you know, and it can make it, uh, even more, you know, um, it's, it's a, it's a thing where that's greater than the sum of its parts. And, uh, uh, you know, songs by their definition are, uh, you know, what's the word I'm thinking of? They're, uh, they, they bring melody and lyric together, which are two separate parts of your brain, you know, and, mm-hmm. and, uh, shouldn't work but they do together and uh, uh, syncretism I guess is what I'm thinking yeah. well it's like what Kim Williams said too or, or one, your friend and my uh, one of my songwriting heroes if you co-write with somebody even if you don't get a hit or something doesn't get cut you've made uh, you've made a new friend or you've improved your friendship with somebody and that's a beautiful thought yeah yeah but uh, Steve one of uh, a, a a too large of a number of artists who've left holes, you know, oh, in, yeah. in our music and our, in our, you know, our family, I guess you'd say. And the last album though, I was thinking of it because that, it, you, that album was out right. I think it released before he passed, but not long. Before. No, it actually was released after he passed. Was it? Okay. Uh, but it was finished just, I think it's the last thing he did. Yeah. So uh, we didn't know that Steve was sick, you know, and it was pancreatic cancer, which it took, it was very yeah. quick. Yeah. Well, how appropriate to have you two guys, both of you are fine guitar players and singers and writers and things here on Doc Watson's birthday. And we'll talk more about that coming up. I wanted to mention uh, what I have in my notes is you guys are playing up at the Folk Mood Center tonight. Actually, we're not. You're not. <laughs> that was that that was rescheduled okay. about 10 days ago. But uh, we're playing Song of the Mountain tomorrow night. Yes, tomorrow night. Yeah, yeah Song of the Mountains up there in Marion, Virginia. That's right. Great show. Right. Uh, I know you guys are looking forward to that. 